Yeah, today is a Saturday and we are going to look at synthetic indices since the Forex market is closed and we shall go straight away to MetaTrader 5 uh, for our Delive synthetic indices and to do that let's just click there and uh, it will land us to our previous asset which is VIX 10 1S we discussed yesterday and I have just removed some of the markups so that I can begin afresh and I show you and uh, before that please if you haven't watched my previous video of yesterday which was 22nd of March 2024 please go and re uh, watch it okay that uh, it will help you uh, to pick what I'm trying to mean the lessons we are delivering to you for free all right let's go so let's uh, do what we call top down analysis on this asset and this is what I usually do and I slope down to lower time frame so let's begin on new daily time frame all right so let me just uh, show you this right you can see uh, let me use my arrow so you can see uh, that uh, here this I marked the high okay which is the week and uh, there is no black of structure this was just a week right so if I also reach here I also marked another uh, high but also a week not a break of structure keep in mind that one so price has just created what I can call a liquidity right here what is that kind of liquidity it is equal highs so uh, another thing I want to show you is this break of structure right here let me just use this line okay you can see this is the break of structure price uh, took out uh, this uh, uh, external liquidity at uh, our previous high and came and broke a structure here then uh, it has also created another liquidity here echo highs and I think it's likely to uh, just uh, take it out then can also clear this liquidity down here okay that is on daily so let's slope on H4 and we see what they are trying to talk about on H4 this is what I can see right I think guys so you can see we have a small uh, liquidity grab on a daily we were seeing that is equal uh, highs but here we can see relatively equal highs a small uh, grab of liquidity so what I'm going to do let me just bring this one here okay, so you can see uh, we are still in an uptrend however right here on h4 we are still in an uptrend apart from on daily where we saw a black of structure downward which is uh, giving us an idea that the price is likely to slope down but on h4 that seemingly black of structure is a grab of liquidity so we shall wait for more information otherwise we are still in an uptrend with liquidity down here this is what is giving us a promise that the price is likely to come and clear this trend line liquidity All right so let me go to h1 and i continue doing the analysis all right as we are doing top down analysis but before that let me just draw this support zone because once it is blocked it would mean we are moving right we are moving downwards guys okay, let me show you this is how they draw this trend line liquidity that uh, price will come back and clear you see this one huh? this is also trend uh trend line liquidity so this is what i see price can as well come and stop here right because this is uh, uh, a confluence and let me uh, explain to beginners what a confluence is a confluence is when two or more factors are meeting in one place so in this case i see this is a trend line with only two touches and the price is likely to come for a third touch all right since it has already showed us a break of structure here on h4 right and this is another broke on number one which has a broken structure here right it has a broken structure here number two which has an imbalance right here okay so this is an imbalance and again it can show you here it broke or rather it grabbed liquidity so that is um a reliable order block a valid order block that we can rely 
on okay so when price comes here it's likely to continue moving higher and if it breaks this zone and uh, goes past or closes below this order block then we can expect price to continue dropping to clear even this down uh, or uh, trend line liquidity all right let's go to uh, lower time frame again uh, which is uh, one hour right, so we are here on one hour and you can see this is the tunnel liquidity that was grabbed however however let me just pull this one well, let me bring uh, this uh, rectangle tool you can see this is an order broke but this order broke right price again left equal loss guys are you seeing this this is magic guys eh? price left equal laws so and again you can see we have different and a lot of liquidity down here so which is giving me an idea that at ten time tier i don't know price is likely to come back all right so i didn't take or i didn't buy uh because of this liquidity right and uh, let me draw another trend line liquidity a lot of liquidity on this asset let me show you this so this is another trend line right and not only that uh, let's draw another like tunnel tool here this is what led to the black holes for this internal structure so you can see this ob is what led to the black of this internal structure here right and when uh, this was broken it created another liquidity here so i will just delete this one since there is liquidity i don't just mark that rectangle uh support zone when there is liquidity instead i just use a a trend line uh, to show that liquidity so here there is dollars so some um, traders uh, mark up these setups and they just put their signs of dollars which means there is liquidity there so i expect price to reject this right and come and clear this uh, here so here if it continues showing rejections and i i can say up to here either way price can reject this right and it stops on this small doji candle let me just uh, change it like this and you see what i'm trying to mean price can come back right resist this trend line and stop from here guys eh? when this happens the trend line uh the doji kind of meaning is this one where there is even a moving average here take this very important because i have observed it several times eh? so price can as well uh, do this so price can reject this uh, and uh, it comes from here it comes from here like this then it continues to clear uh, this one uh, right and do this and continue then after this it can as well come back all right and it continues moving up but so we have to wait the other option it can do it can come directly from here up to here then it drops okay the third one it can do is just coming here and sweeps and continues so we have to wait those three options however in all those three options where can you take a trade and where can you enter from for example if it comes here and doesn't reach this zone it does something like this you can buy from here right another way if it does something like uh, what i have told you here like this you can enter here and you target this zone uh -huh. again if it comes like this it continues up to here rejects then you can sell and target this zone okay those are the three options i'm thinking price is likely to do okay so i think this is a nice setup if it closes past this uh trend line this red one then you can uh, enter into a buy right but if they reject this one then you can sell and take this trend line below all right so let's keep updated i will continue updating you what is going on let's go to the final asset that we discussed yesterday which is also boom 500 so let me go to boom 500 and uh, if you watched my video uh, of yesterday i said that price is likely to you know let me show you this let me go to h4 I said that price is likely to do this right and continue up but uh, I had also marked um, I had marked this one 
Uh, this line was there and uh, why do i usually mark the highs and lows it's because sometimes the price will just grab that uh, low or high as liquidity then it drops without tapping into the order block that was responsible for the break of structure so this is exactly what happened eh? it didn't tap in the order block just here right but rather grab the liquidity using this week okay and continued moving up or oh, so what you do on lower time from once uh, you see this rejection happening mm -hmm. Once you see this rejection happening, immediately enter after seeing that bullish candle closing and put the stop loss down there, right? And target the highs, which is here. And you just take your profit and you make money online. How does it sound? If okay. you are learning from these uh, setups, please, if our daily analysis are helping you guys, uh, kindly subscribe and share the videos. Until next time, peace and love.